Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. My friends brought today this 2005 Honda Odyssey for preventative maintenance service. And when they arrived, I saw immediately that one of the brake lights doesn't work and that means the bulb right in the light is burned. It was on this side. To replace that bulb should be fast and easy, right? And that's a great opportunity for me to do some free service for the owner to show my appreciation that they are giving me the other work. So let's go and take care of it right now. Here you can see the whole assembly in the detail and I will start using very small screwdriver to lift up these Taps. Right. One and come on, baby, two. And that gives me access to two Phillips screws, right? So I will use the Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you don't strip it if they are very tight, right? Here is the second one out, which is fantastic. And now the whole assembly should be free to remove towards to you. And that's a little bit of the tricky part of this procedure, because obviously you don't want to damage the paint on the vehicle, right? So I'm using a really wide tool which is special for the working on tasks like this. It's just a plastic and I know it will not damage the paint on the car. So I will carefully insert it here where I have a space, right? And helping myself with the other hand, trying to move the assembly that way. So let's go and see if it will pop for me. Boom, and that's it. I caught it right again. I don't want a whole assembly falling down and scratching the paint. That will be not cool at all. So I place the rag there to protect the paint and I can show you the details. So first of all, you can see that pin right here, right? This was being guided in this hole and that's why we were popping it backwards. Then you see two bulbs. One on the top, which is in the white light, so that's obviously not the brake bulb, which is burnt. And the bottom one will be the brake. So, to get that bulb out, you twist it counterclockwise, right? And it nicely comes out. And I'm pretty sure you can see that the bulb is burnt inside. There is that black like a smoke inside, right? So that confirms we have the right one. To remove it, I just pull it out, out of that socket. Carefully, you don't wanna break it in your fingers, right? And cut yourself, boom. Now the bulb is out. I will take it to the dealer. They will give me replacement and basically that the repair or replacing it is just a reverse what we did until now. So I'm back from the dealer. I got a new bulb, right? You can see how clear it is. There's not that smoke part. And let's check first before I will be putting it together if it works. All right, that one is good. Before I will put it back, I will just clean the surface. I don't want to have my fingerprints on it, the oils. And this time clockwise, right? It was anti-clockwise, counter, now it's clockwise. I will turn it, you heard the click, right? It clicked and it's ready to be installed. I can remove that rack holding the light assembly. Here I will be inserting it in that spot. Let me see. Yep, I see there. Push it this way, right? 
nice you heard it it clicked and I'm ready to install these two screws and nicely all the way you don't want to over tight it and break the plastic obviously right so this is good one more on the bottom and now I have remaining these two plastic covers or tabs whatever you want to call it all right so boom one second one is right here boom it's there and I'm finished I'm pretty sure when the owners will come back to pick up their van after the services they will be super happy that the brake light is working correctly again thank you for watching today and make sure you are subscribed because I have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend